So, sometimes I like to think I'm a smart guy, but to be honest, I know I'm not, okay? No, I'm not that clever. Um, I am good at a couple of things. I'm good at breaking something down to its simple parts. Definitely a hard worker, so I'm good at doing that. But clever? No. Mostly I just copy what other people are doing and bumble around in the dark. However, my brother, he's a genius, eh? My brother's a very clever guy. He's a physicist. And when he saw what I was doing with these water lenses, he said, Rob, just fill it with CO2 and you should be able to focus sound with it. Now, I thought that was incredible, hey? Because you can get that kind of speaker. They're called parametric speakers, and they're about £500 each. If you think about what we're doing, you're talking about 20 pence worth of material to be able to build something that can focus sound. <laughs> That's awesome. And when you stop to think about it, it has so many uses. I mean, um, you can hear something. But nobody two feet away from you can. That's just incredible. So advertising agencies are really keen on this because you can have a billboard playing you an advert and the billboard right next door can play a completely different advert and the two people won't hear it. They'll just hear the advert there standing in front of. And that's got a huge appeal. You could have uh, areas where you're playing warnings, for instance, when you enter that area and you can't hear it anywhere else. Got half a dozen people in a room all listening to their own devices. They can all, just they, can hear it without wearing headphones, so they can also talk to each other as well. Just incredible amount of uses for everything like that. And there's a lot of research going into directional sound for exactly those reasons, but it's expensive. So it really caught my imagination. To cut a short story long, it really got me. And I thought, OK, we're going to give that a go. So I was going to make the telescope, I'm going to do that next. So what I'm going to do now is see if we can make a sound lens. Now, in video 1834, we went through this piece of equipment and how to make the shape for the lens. What I've done is I've taken a bit of this stuff, builder's board, which I go on about endlessly, freely available in the UK, called Sintra board in the US, cut myself a square and cut a hole in the centre the same high size as the lens, which I just do with the same hole saw. What I'm going to do is put a double spit, a double sided sticky tape. Here's one of my lenses. You can pick it off, drop that on, and we suddenly have a protected lens. And in good Blue Peter fashion, here's what I prepared earlier. So we now have a nice lens that's got this big protective area around it. And we need two of those. Now, when you think about sound, Hey, this is like a dome, and, and if you look at a speaker, you'll see a dome. The dome, if it's been hit, will radiate sound out that way. If the sound is hitting it in here, it'll radiate it in that way. If we put two domes next to each other, then it's going to radiate back out in that direction. So I was thinking, you want a flat sheet or you want a uh, convex one. So we're going to do a convex one. So we do a convex one, we do a concave one, and exactly the same thing. Go around this with this tape. Now, a word about this tape. This tape is acrylic gel tape used for repairing mobile phones. It, it's waterproof for sure, not sure about gas proof, but it's waterproof for sure. It's very flexible, it makes a nice seal, and we can just feed that around the edge here. Now we want an entry and exit point, and so of course we need to put a straw in there. Now CO2, carbon dioxide, it is heavier than air. So if you get a bit of dry ice and drop it in there, seal the whole thing up with a straw, the dry ice should evaporate, force all the air out, and sit in there, making us our CO2 lens. So, of course, what we need is a bit of dry ice. Dry ice is dead easy to get hold of. You get yourself a CO2 cylinder and a pillowcase. All you do is stick your pillowcase around your CO2 cylinder and we'll be collecting some dry ice. We don't need much. That's it together. I mean, there's not a lot to show you. If you watched 1834, you know how to make this. We just stick the plastic onto this square, two of them side by side. That one is concave, that one is convex, and I've put a little bit of dry ice in there. The dry ice has evaporated, forced out the air, and now I've got myself a sound lens. Or at least I think so. Let's give it a go and see if this actually works. That's unbelievable, eh? <laughs> that really does work. Do you want to go, man? I do. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Let's, Let's swap over. Let's swap over. That's... That's amazing. It is, isn't it, eh? Not amazing. Huh. <laughs> 
Okay, that's that, that actually, actually, that is amazing that works because we've really got no idea, hey? I just made a concave lens, a convex lens, no control over it at all, and yet we could still get it to work. So clearly, for sound focusing, making this little system and filling it with CO2 instead of water is going to make you, give you the ability to focus sound. And obviously there's a lot of work to do on it. We don't know a lot about these surfaces. So would a flat one be better? What degree of curvature works best? And so on and so on and so on. So quite a bit of investigation to do, but it actually works. Now, it's next to impossible for me to demonstrate that to you because I can't hear what you can hear. Uh, so when we hold that up to the microphone, it's really difficult to see whether you can hear the sound or not. So there's no point. But it took me about, I don't know, 10 minutes to make that and cost me about 20 pence in materials. So if you're really interested in this, I can tell you and, and it works. Give it a go, see what you can come up with, see whether you can improve it or not. And I certainly wanted to share that with you because there is an active research. The other, other alternatives, 500 quid or 20 pence and 10 minutes, up to you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.